Quick Pitch presented by Blue Emu. I'm Heidi Watney. And yeah, as you just saw, there's some history there between the Marlins, Jose Ureña, and the Braves. And now with both of the teams battling for playoff position, there's even more at stake. For Ureña, Monday marked his first start this season after testing positive for COVID-19 during the Marlins outbreak at the end of July. He said it was extremely difficult having to completely shut down for two weeks and then ramp back up at the club's training facility. We'll see if there's any rust against a team that he is sure to have some extra adrenaline against. And I don't think anyone on either the A's or Astros has forgotten. Ramon Laureano was suspended four games for charging the Astros dugout. And Houston's hitting coach, Alex Cintron, got a 20-game ban for instigating. I don't think he's going to be shouting anything at Laureano in this series, particularly with both teams in a playoff race. The Astros need to turn the tide, having dropped four straight heading into this series where they face the team they're chasing in the A, who had a six and a half game lead over the Jays. But the Bombers, mired by injuries, have dropped 13 of their last 18 games, while Toronto has won eight of their last 12. New York is struggling at the plate, and Monday would have to face one of the hottest pitchers in baseball, Hunjin Ryu, who is unbeaten over his last six starts with a 1.06 ERA. Could he keep the Bronx bats quick pitch? The Cardinals played their 1,000th game at Wrigley Field on Monday, the second most for any visiting franchise at any major league venue, trailing only the Browns and Orioles, who played 1,004 games at Fenway Park. But here are some other numbers that are impressive for the Cardinals. St. Louis has won six of their last eight games, averaging over six runs a game during that span. And the rotation is getting it done as well. Cardinals starters haven't allowed more than three runs in a game during that same stretch. Could they continue that streak Monday against the Cubs? The Giants have won 12 of their last 17 games, and a big reason for it is this guy. Well... Kind of. This was a promising Marlin who hit 295 his rookie season back in 2012. But four years later, Donovan Solano found himself back in the minors, splitting time between the Yankees and Dodgers systems. Then in 2018, San Francisco took a flyer on Solano, signing him to a minor league contract. Which brings us back to this year's Giants, who are currently contending for a wild card spot. And that's thanks in part to Solano, whose 344 batting average ranks third best in the majors this season, behind only Trey Turner and Tim Anderson. But could he keep some great Seattle sluggers? Certain names come to mind. Griffey, Ichiro, Edgar, and uh, Seeger? That's right, with his two hits on Sunday, 32-year-old Kyle Seeger moved past Jay Buhner for fourth on the Mariners' all-time hits list. That's pretty good company for the 10-year veteran who's collected 1,256 hits in his career, one of which was a two-run home run in the first inning on Sunday. If he were to repeat that feat on Monday, he would be the first Seattle player to do so since, well, himself in 2015. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bauer, Vado, David Bell's an interesting personality. Amir Garrett's an interesting personality. Hopefully they can get it together because I think they'd be a lot of fun in the postseason. And no one would want to play them. Absolutely. Right? You got Bauer the Brewers. I've got the Brewers. Have? I'm not running off the Reds. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm not going to run. Hot up until the trade deadline and kind of fizzle just so that their front office makes right? a move. But they've carried it through a week after. I'm taking the Brewers. Yeah, there was. Oh. Why? I just think Yelich is going to get on mine. He's so intelligent. It's like yeah. you have to look away. He's going to make it happen. Can the Mets clean it up for a little run? Mm, I don't know. Remember Ryan Braun last September? It was the middle of September. That go-ahead grand slam catapulted them. Wild card game. Yes. There was, like, excitement. Mm. Come huh. on, Cincinnati. We, we, none of us are convinced, by the yeah. way. Corner, good Tuesday morning to you. Cardinals players specifically taking to social media saying how he made everyone around him better. What would you reflect? Words, what a life and what a legacy on this great game. Well said, JP. JP, we were talking. Uh, we're going to talk to Dean Kramer coming up at one time. Orioles prospect. And I remember you're smiling. You know where I'm going with this. Back in 2016, the WBC, you said these words about Dean. Wait to chat with him, JP, coming up on MLB Central. First battery he faced, by the way, DJ LeMay.
Mayhew. Godspeed to him. I said it earlier in this show, and I've said this a lot recently because I've noticed we haven't talked about the Phillies much, and I wonder why. 11-3 and three over their last 14 games. When you watch them, what stands out? Very yeah, they're cool. uh, in a playoff series, perhaps. Great story there. And peaking at the right time are the Phillies under 20 games to play. J.P. Morosi, appreciate you on a Tuesday. Let's Thanks, step Lauren. aside. Yeah. It hasn't been a cakewalk for the Angels this season, but they're bright spots for sure. Mike Trout, we get it. Fastest in baseball to reach 300 home runs and 200 stolen bases. Congratulations to him. And Andrew Heaney has allowed only one run over his last 14 and two-thirds are in Texas tonight. Start number two for Mike Clevenger in a Padres uniform. Six innings of two-run ball in his debut, getting back on that every five-day routine he's been wanting. Pods hosting a Rockies team that wants in on the postseason. They are not too far away. And you want your studs peaking in October. And for Walker Bueller, he's on that path. Had that finger blister after starting slow and threw five scoreless against Arizona. He gets another chance at them tonight in the desert. Good looking, speaking multiple languages. Unbelievable. Just like D-Row. Unbelievable. <laughs> Orioles pitcher Dean Kramer got his first big league win over the weekend. And speaking of first, as you heard, he is the first Israeli citizen to reach the major leagues. Now, he was born in Stockton, California, but his parents met in the Israeli army and then later moved to the United States. He has dual citizenship for the United right. States and Israel. And with that as a... I would go, I would take a hot shower in the pitch black like <laughs> half hour before game time and be out on the line with 15 minutes to go. Hmm. I would pitch black? Yeah, I need to call. I, need to, I, I, I wish I, I would do a lot of things differently if I went back and played again. As you would say, I've been doing this show with you I for six totally years. I totally trust my abilities every night, you know. And you get weirder by the day. I was grinding. It gets better. Whatever you talk about your playing days, it gets better and better, bro. It's a Constantly not on the field. I, I just thought that went against your original thinking that it didn't matter the No, I thought Lindor is or... Marcelo Zuna has been awesome. Our producer just in my ear, our coordinating producer just said three home runs at Fenway last week. Look good in a Red Sox uniform next year, wouldn't it? Mm, you might. They need some points. But they, they signed Donaldson on the we'll give that yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> Take He's that the with you. I don't He's understand the best. how players like nap right before games. Or pitchers say they nap in the second inning before Everyone's got in tells, like in poker. I believe that. Like, I, my tell was yawning. When I was nervous, I yawned. So, like, I've had managers go, Bang. I've had managers go, you're not ready to play. I'm like, no, I'm completely ready. I'm actually nervous to play. Yeah, but once you get it from a nap, you're all groggy. I'm I had to go to the bathroom before every at bat in my career. It's not as filling as a full soup? meal. Beans, some broth soup has to be hot. Yeah, it's got to be hot. Yeah. You don't like And juicy. Soup? Hot and juicy. Soup. Like pasta. No, I don't like that. Not into it? No. Wally in the stands holding up a sign trying to mess with the... It's right? Comparison. Fruit Loops. Terrible. Fruit loops Terrible. <laughs> Second so bowl, cut the roof of your mouth. It was amazing. Captain Grant, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Patrick Corbin, nice Equal. guy or Equal. butterfly killer? Ooh. Have any other clothes? Seriously. Oh you just mix gosh. and match the top? I really so. <laughs> setting. Hey, is CeCe Sabathia living the best life? Yes. Sunday, Lou Brock passed away at the age of 81. He had over 3,000 hits in his career, but is mainly remembered as one of the most feared base runners in baseball history. His 938 stolen bags were a major league record at the time of his retirement. Here now, Matt Vaskersen with more on the life of Lou Brock. I like your picks. You hear that? You're a Tom Petty guy, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Tom Petty. Hey, nope. the Blue Jays, fun to watch. Talked about them on Jukebox Jams. Uh, more than that, their postseason bound. If the season started today, if postseason started today, Teoscar's been great. Bo Bichette, the in Mike Trout. Uh, he's been great for them, and they're hopeful. They're not giving up, but they, they're not putting any timetable on it. Lauren, real quick, yeah. Kevin, D Kevin Dillon, our researcher, made a great point. Trey Turner played that entire season last year with his that, finger basically. That's true. And speaking Hang, of Trey he, Turner. Oh, you going there? No. Oh. He just needs some love. It's like, yeah, holy he, uh, he cow, what a season he's he having. Meanwhile, elsewhere, speaking of Trey Turner, uh, Mike Rizzo, we heard, had his contract extended, and now they're in the works on Davey. In general, not listening at all. Like, we I hear think, that sometimes. I think you would... You not doing your job if you're not right? listening to every phone call I would that comes. Some get hung up on a lot quicker totally. than others. But. As to be expected. What about JT? We, we spoke with Bryce Harper earlier on the show. When you weren't here, by the way, we spoke I, with Bryce. I, I, and well, he, I saw it. He was camping. I wasn't happy.